Oh, my glasses. Shit. I put these guys on. Yeah, guys, we've got a, we've got a ring cult. Looks like a small female. I'm not sure, but you can see she's quite agitated. I've disturbed her afternoon little walk and looking for a good little toad. It's okay, girl. So this is a species of false cobra. It's an elaphid species. The ring cult is a neurotoxic species of snake, uh, which affects your neurological synapses in your brain, which stop firing and will start to affect your respiratory system, as well as your ability to move and walk and breathe for that matter. Typical ring cult noise, huffing and puffing and making a big hood and eventually spraying as well. Lots and lots of venom. She's even hooding whilst I'm holding her up. She's really all about telling me to stay away and leave her alone. You can see very, very characteristic. Those two white bands, they sometimes have up to three white bands along their throat, which is extremely characteristic of a ring cult. They originate all the way across Southern Africa and uh, even up here in Transvaal, where we are now in mobile copies, these snakes are extremely prevalent. The next step of what the ring cults will often do is if they're over disturbed, and let's see if we can get her to do that, is she'll play dead. And she's not doing it now, and I don't want to force her to do it. But they do, they play dead, and they'll turn over on their backs and leave their tongue out. Hello, girl. And they'll leave their tongue out with their mouth a little bit open, and then they'll expel a musky scent which kind of depicts to the animal that it's dead and been rotting and it's not worth their time anymore. Amazingly adapted animals, really, really, really beautiful and extremely defensive. It's okay, girl, it's okay. I know it's cold and I'll let you get on your way soon. Now let's see if, you see she's just dancing with me here. She's just dancing.